That's the crater of the volcano. Woo! The water is steaming. And the entire place smells like sulfur because of the steaming water. Look at that. It's unbelievably wild. Well, this means a hazardous explosive eruption is possible within hours to days. Now, so far, some 8,000 people have been evacuated from within a 14 kilometer radius. Plumes of thick, dark clouds of ash at more than 10 kilometers high from Dal's crater, almost non stop. Taal Volcano's sudden eruption caught thousands of residents by surprise. The Philippines is bracing for a potentially explosive eruption of the Taal Volcano. It could happen any time from now. The video you saw a while ago was uh, taken last year. And uh, that was the time I had a chance to actually see the crater of Taal Volcano for myself. It's an amazing sight. Um, you know, it's something that sticks in your memory. It's something you don't see every day, but I guess it's uh, it's also ironic that something that beautiful, that grand, could be the cause of so much pain, misery, and death at the same time. And because I'm sure by now it's all gone. Um, I don't know by the time you see this video if a volcanic eruption already happened, but you know it's uh, it's just ironic that. Mother Nature has her way of, of recharging herself, of fixing herself, but you know, there's nothing we can do about it. That's how nature works, but you know, somehow you wish that so many lives aren't affected as much and you know, animals and people, it doesn't matter. It's just really a bad situation for everybody. But I choose to remember it as the paradise that I saw you know I was literally transported it felt like to a different planet when I was there so maybe now in the midst of all this chaos and all this pain and all this death maybe now is the time to look back at uh, how beautiful the crater of Tal Volcano was and maybe you know we'll get to see that again sometime so yeah, let's go back. It's nothing new, but every time you see the Tagaytay fog with a view of the Taal volcano in the background, it just amazes you every time. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I'm on the banks of the Taal Volcano and you have vents like this of sulfur just piping from the ground. The whole place smells like sulfur. The water bubbles because of the heat and it's absolutely crazy. It's just mind-blowing and beautiful. You know you watch those movies where they send a colony to Mars? Well I think this is the closest to Mars you'll ever get. Check out that steam. Is that crazy or what? It's like Mars. Check that out. So apparently the water's hot enough that you can boil an egg in it. That's exactly what Kuya is doing here. So the 
nga kuya. Kuha ka ng isa. Check it out. <laughs> so kuya ano yun, gano'ng katagal mo sinalang yan sa tubig? Mga 10 minutes lang po. 10 minutes, tapos perfect yung luto? Perfect siya, maganda nga siyang balatin na. Sige nga, kainin mo nga. May ham na sila. Pag bumula bibig mo, wala kami ha. Bibig ko na sa loob. Hindi, kinakain ako pa talaga. Yeah, si kuya ko. Oh. Okay siya, panalo. Okay. <laughs> ano? <laughs> Kahit yung egg yolk niya, luto siya. Oo oh, nga, ano? Ganun siya kain ito. So I'm just uh, sending out all my prayers to all our kababayans there in the area of Patangas, in Cavite, in Tagaytay who are gravely affected by uh, the volcano. We're all praying for all of you and we're also praying that the volcano stops its activity. If you really want to help, you know, there are civic groups and organizations out there who are um, getting some uh, volunteers. Uh, just look out for groups that are going to those areas to send relief goods for people and to rescue the animals that got left behind. Again, our prayers are with all of you. And, um, you know, in God's time and in His grace, we're all going to get through this in one piece. Thank you guys for watching.